Hi everyone, today I am going to show you how to use Asana for beginners. So this is a very easy tutorial and this one is for those who doesn't have any idea about Asana and how to use it. So first, in order for you to proceed, of course, you need to create an account and Asana only needs your email address. Now all you have to do is to type your email address here and then once done all you have to do is to click continue now you have to click sign up with google and then confirm it by tapping your email address again because it says choose an account so once done now you have an account in asana but to proceed you have to type your full name so you have to be careful with typing information here so let's just say um my name is mary baker okay and then after that tap continue and then here what's your primary role this will help us tailor center for you now choose one primary role we have options here but just tap at this one so let's just say i am the manager click continue what kind of work do you do so we have options here but i will be choosing project or program management product management design communication but everything is up to you now once done click continue what's your main objective in asana we have the options here but they recommend this project and process management okay so tap this one continue so let's set up your first project what's something you and your team are currently working on so let's just say my team and i uh, we are doing or working on a video film project 101 and then click continue so what are a few tasks that you have to do for a video film project 101 we have your concept development script writing and we have here production but actually everything is up to you this is just an example okay so once done you have to click continue now here, how would you group this task into sections or stages so that it would be clear for your team? Okay, so we have to do, doing, done. But if you want to change that, you can also put it this way. Section 1, pre-production. Section 2, production planning. Section 3, production. So these are the stages and section. Okay, so after that, you have to click continue. Okay. And then once you tap continue, then you have to a layout that is best for your project. So what layout works best for this project? You can change this later. For a list, this is what it looks like. For a board, this is what it looks like. For a timeline, okay, this is what it looks like. Pretty obvious. And for a calendar, this is what it looks like. Now, I'm going to choose list because I like the layout and I think it's very clear for me and it's easy for me. So, click continue. Now, you can add the email address of your team. So, you can do it one by one. Okay, so for example, Johnny is your researcher, okay, or uh, producer or something like that. So, you can add as many as you can. Actually, for this time, you can add at least three but you can add more email address and name later or i think you can add at least four okay and then once done all you have to do is to tap continue now you are all set as easy as that get the sign up for all your screen skip for now so this is what it looks like we have options on the left side but always remember that you're given only 30 day trial starts today so you have to upgrade after 30 days or you will remain basic. You can only access basic features, okay? So here it is now. We have here your video project, model one, click this one. And this is what it looks like. So of course you chose a list layout. Now, if you want to create a new project, just tap the plus icon and then you know, type your new project here, video film, project 102 privacy, public semi workspace, task, and so on. So here it is. If you want to see other layouts here, you can simply tap board, timeline, calendar, and dashboard. Okay, so here it is. 
now if you click this overview then you can see all the information here for example project description if you want your team to know your goal the reason why you're doing this project the vision and everything then you can simply type the project description here what is it what's the project all about project roles you can simply add a role to each and every one of your teammates here for example johnny i want johnny to do this concept development andy i want her to do the script writing and then demi okay click done now demi i want her to do this let me think um pre-production okay and then click done okay after that you can proceed with the goal okay so that it would be very clear for you and your team what is really your goal for this project okay so let's just say your goal is to finish the video before the year ends or before october 2023 something like that this is just an example everything is up to you okay so that is your goal to finish this video film before october 2023 for key sources you can add links files for milestones so you can skip to that and then you can also set status update on track you can see the status of your project here okay so once you're done with this you can simply go back now let's see and look for other layouts here okay so since this is the list this is the board timeline calendar dashboard and more feel free to change or to use any of the layout here for example you want to support the advantage of this is that you can drag your task here okay or titles or name of your project here okay you can drag to section two three and you can also put it back that's the advantage of this board layout here you can even add section if you forgot something then you can add section let's just say for st section four we have here output so let's explore more if you're going to tap home you can see everything here task completed collaborators customize home complete your profile you can even see your task here your task upcoming task overdue completed okay beside you can add project you can see all the projects here and you can create a project if you want just click that and blank space now if you scroll down you can see task i have assigned so i haven't assigned to anyone yet now people you can simply tap invite and add someone's email address or add a teammate here for example i want to add samuel at hotmail.com click this and then click send and then later i can see the email address of samuel here so that's it now after with the home you can go to my task and you can see here your task that i haven't assigned tasks to myself okay but if i'm going to assign a task to myself or to my members then i can simply tap this task here and then go to decide okay click this to assign to the certain teammate due date okay specific date of when they're going to submit this task or this task should be completed also projects you can add something that or a note to make this clearer to the assignee okay and then after that you can also proceed with this description here okay here in the description you can probably type the description here you can put instruction you can put um, anything here you can change bold italic underline and also for this uh, comment you can just type leave a comment or feedback here something like that and that's it that's how easy it is to assign someone and then mark this as complete if this person has completed this task same thing with the other task here you can assign it to other team member and so on also assign a specific date add to projects a description and then comment and so on you can tap on the side to explore more okay for let's just say reporting you can tap this one you can see here see how tim works from every angle portfolio for goal and so on so this is just a basic tutorial on 
how to use Asana for beginners. So I hope this video helped you. Thank you for watching and see you again in our next video tutorials.